video explains how to navigate the registration landing page, including how to view course offerings, how to view your schedule, and how to add, drop, or waitlist classes. A separate video explains how to use the Plan Ahead tool. Log in to BangleWeb and go to Academic Tools. In Registration Tools, click on the Registration Landing Page link. From the landing page, you have a large selection of options. You can browse the course catalog to see general course offerings. Browse classes lets you see information on specific sections. Prep for registration provides details about your registration status, among other things. Plan ahead allows you or your advisor to build a schedule in advance of registration. View registration information lets you see your past schedules. And finally, there's register for classes. Like most of the options, the first page that opens asks you to select which term you need to work on. Once you have selected a term, you can find classes, which allows you to search the class schedule by one or more subjects or by course number or keyword. You can also click Advanced Search to open more search options. Additional tabs allow you to register by entering CRNs or you can register by using one of the pre-built plans you or your advisor have created. We have a separate video on that. You can also click Schedule and Options to see your existing schedule. If you click on the bottom left Panels button, a breakout of your weekly schedule appears along with your registration summary. After you've found a class you want to register for, click Add to put the course in the Summary section, bottom right. You can search again to keep choosing sections. Once you have all the sections you want, click Submit in the bottom right to finalize your registration. You'll want to watch the Status column, which will change from Pending to Registered if you are successful. If, however, an error message appears, you can hover over the error status to see what the error was caused by. If you got an error because the course was full, you can choose to be added to the waitlist for the class. Just click Add to Waitlist and click Submit. When a spot comes open, you'll receive a message through your ISU email and have 24 hours to add the class. If you don't register for the class during that time, you'll be removed from the waitlist, so be sure to check your ISU email regularly if you're on a waitlist. If you need help with any of the other error messages, you can contact your advisor. If you decide to drop a class, you select Web Drop under Action and click Submit. We encourage you to drop classes you don't want any longer so that other students can get in. If you have any questions, contact the service desk. 